Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis, realtor of over 34 years here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I would like to speak with real estate agents who represent buyers. How to always get your offers accepted and never have them rejected or countered. The reason your offer is rejected or countered, you may or may not know this, is because of the agent representing the buyer that wrote it. If it gets rejected or if it gets countered, it's because of the real estate agent that represented the buyer. Not because of the buyer, not because of the seller or the listing agent, in my opinion. You see, if you can talk to that listing agent in advance and know what the mindset is, what the seller is wanting to accomplish, what their time frames are, and so on. And then write an attractive offer. First of all, I assume you're not even going to show something that's overpriced thousands of dollars. You'd be wasting your time and wasting your buyer's time. Then the next thing is, Instead of $500 or $1,000 earnest money on an offer that you're writing on a home that's listed, let's say, for $223,000, put up $5,000 earnest money. Put up $7,000 earnest money. After all, if your buyer decides not to buy the home or the seller decides not to make the repairs that the buyer requests in the inspection period, they're going to get their money back anyway. If the buyer doesn't qualify for some reason or another, they find out they have something against their credit and ends up they don't qualify, they're going to get their money back anyway. Make it attractive. Make it nadoda, not a duplicate of the average offer. And the inspection period, it doesn't really need to be 10 days, I don't think. I think five days is plenty. That makes it look better. Then another offer, if there happens to be multiple offers on the home. Then another step would be, don't go asking the seller to pay for the buyer's home warranty for the next 12 months when the seller is not going to be there anymore. You see, when you use three little things like this or other things like that, you have a much better opportunity of having your offer accepted. And the next thing is to be with the agent and present the offer face to face. That's critical. That's real critical. And as Tom Hopkins used to say to me, I never see failure as failure, but only as an opportunity to improve my sense of humor.